In this video I'm going to talk about natural log and exponentials. So the natural log or well, natural logarithm is a logarithm that has e as the base. And so we can write that as log subscript e or we can write it as ln of a particular number. e equals 2.718281828459045 and that number just continues uh, because it's an irrational number and so it just has a, an infinite number of digits after the decimal place. So as I've mentioned e is an irrational number much the same as pi for example. Um, e is also a very special number it appears in lots of important equations and situations. So if we think about rearranging an equation where we have y equals e to the power of x what we can do is we can take the natural log of both sides and then because of the rules of logs we can move the x outside of the log term and the natural log of e is just 1 and so overall we have x equals the natural log of y. If we plot this function out we get a shape like this so we get this curve and so this is a classical exponential curve that rises very steeply as x increases and one of the reasons that e to the x is special and, and the reason that e is special is because if you differentiate y equals e to the x you get e to the x. If you integrate it you get e to the x. If you integrate back from the differential you go back to e to the x and then if you differentiate back from the integral you go back to uh, e to the x as well. So it's special for that reason. It's also special because you can use it in the situation where you've got exponential growth so you can have this equation y equals y naught and this dot it means times and then it's e to the kt so y is a particular value that you're interested in that changes over time y naught is the initial value at the start of the process and k is the rate constant and you can find out k by knowing the time it takes for that process to double so if it was bacteria and they were doubling every 20 minutes then your t double would be 20 minutes and then you could work out the rate constant using this equation here. Okay, we can also use it for exponential decay. The difference now is that we've got a minus sign here and so then we get this very classical decay curve where things are dropping away over time. Again, y is the value that we're interested in that changes over time. y naught is the initial value and again k is the rate constant. To work out the rate constant we have ln2 divided by t a half and t a half is the half life i.e. the time taken for the value to half. So if we've got radioactive decay and it takes eight days for the radioactivity to halve uh, from a particular source then that is the, the half life. Okay um, and then we can use this formula to work out the rate constant for the, the radioactive decay. Another place that we see E is in the Arrhenius uh, equation and so the terms are, are, the, are given there. And overall that's been a video about natural logs and exponentials.